Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red and Blue. Here is Blaine. He's a fat guy. <laughs> kind of a crappy sprite for him, but he's the leader of the Cinnabar Island Gym. Ha! I am Blaine. I am the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Well, ha! I do. I think I've got like three of them, but it doesn't really matter. So Blaine doesn't look at all like a sprite. He's like a scientist looking kind of guy. With a very big head. He looks very alien-like, in my opinion. But Growlithe is really cute. Hey, Growlithe, you're gonna die now. And he's all like, Blaine. So we got my dudes going, because my dudes is a, an Earth Pokemon. Earth Pokemon are strong against Fire Pokemon, so this shouldn't be too hard. Even if my dudes fail, because they have very low, um, very, very, very low uh, defense. I've got plenty of other Pokemon that can take care of this stuff, but they're also super fast, so they're almost always going to get a Dig in, and Dig is such a powerful Earth move. So hooray for that. Here's Rapidash. This is Ponyta's... Um, of evolution. Gorgeous. I love it. Such a cool idea. Big friggin' fire pegasus. And by that I mean unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know my horse types. Oof, that's a lot of experience. This is an easy gym, as you can see. We're almost done. And then Arcanine, which is uh, an evolved Growlithe. Gorgeous again. Very good Pokemon. Very good Pokemon. I think it was originally going to be a legendary Pokemon, and then they just decided not to. This might, yeah, this won't kill him. But I mean, who cares? Roar? Like, why would you even have Roar? Roar cannot do anything in a trainer battle. What a waste. Blame, you suck. Lame. Lame. That was a lame fight, guys. Whatever. I have burnt out! I'm sucky. You have earned the Volcano Badge. Monies. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemans. Here you can have this too. I received TM38. What is Fire Spin? Fire Blast. Did you do a Fire type Pokemon? Char Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good bets. What about Charizard or Rapidash? Why specifically Ponyta or Char uh, Charmeleon? I don't know if anyone can learn that. I don't have any Fire type moves. So I don't even know if anyone can learn it. Probably it's not, dog. Yeah, of course. Dingus can? That's weird. Uh, let's see what Snot Dog has. Yeah, let's get rid of Sing. I've already got other Pokemon that can put things to sleep, so here we go. Awesome. So Snot Dog has a water, or sorry, a lightning move, an ice move, and a fire move, and just a, a very powerful strength type move, like a normal type. So that's really great. So basically, Snot Dog is like my last resort kind of Pokemon because he's fairly powerful. I mean, I could just straight up just make him go first, but then it's just like. Everyone else gets to have a turn. Also, Slapjob is crazy leveled up because I went back through all the uh, sea areas that I've been to before and um, fought all the trainers, specifically with Slapjob, just because easy experience for him. Everyone's at a pretty decent level right now. Um, the last, I think the last boss is like around level 50, so we're, we should be fine. Um, let's get Dingus out so we can do some surfing, though. So now that we're away from Cinnabar Island, we have only a couple things left to do in the entire game, and that is one, surf upwards, back to Pallet Town. Oh shit, I should probably put on a repel. Oh no, not a level 5 tentacool. A level 15 tentacool. Oh my goodness. So powerful. Let's get my repel on. Ugh, wasting a max repel. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 avoiding things. This is just like all the other sea routes, by the way. Just, you move in one direction. That's it. Excuse me, guys. Didn't even mean to <laughs> time that. Or not time that, but like position that. Alright, now before we get to Pallet Town, this is the only little part of grass around here. We're gonna find one Pokemon. Let's find it and be on our way. Alright, I have a Max Repel on. Damn it, I'll have to wait it out. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, there we go. This is Tangela. And believe it or not, this is the final wild Pokemon with a random encounter that we will experience in the game, that we will catch in the game. Because um, I can't believe we only got like four Pokemon left to get, I think. Something along those lines. We need hypnosis, put him to sleep. It didn't affect him. Tangela's gonna use Bind, doesn't affect me. How does it, how does it continue if it didn't affect me? It didn't even do damage. That's really funny. Does that mean like it's gonna keep doing that if, it, if I didn't put it to sleep? That's kind of interesting, I never knew that. 
it would like still technically keep going and not do any damage. Oh, well, ah, damn you, Tangela. You woke up? You suck. Don't make me waste all my Ultra Balls on you. Oh, you're gonna be a prick, aren't you? Yeah, none of this stuff can affect me, dude. I'm a ghost. Like, I'm like a literal ghost. Oh, but I can't fight. Because it, it, even though I'm not, like, being hurt, I'm still technically, like, constricted. That makes zero sense. Stay asleep. Yeah, all this stuff is gonna kill it if I use it, so... Come on, man. Oh, don't, don't even be like that. Alright, let's bring in Slap Chop, and we'll use, um, we'll use Toxic. That way we can start draining his HP without killing it. Nice. Badly poisoned. Oh no, one HP. Let's get back. Bean Bean. Try to put him to sleep again. Come on, I don't want to waste a lot of this episode <laughs> catching a tangle of all things. Damn it, go to sleep. Okay, I can't risk it. I just have to catch it now. Oh, frig, come on, man. Yeah, do your attack all you want, dude. You literally can't hurt me. And last try, or else we're gonna find another one. Just in time. Tangelo was caught. Nice. So there we go. Which I believe brings our Pokedex to like freaking 147, I think. Holy crap. The Vine Pokemon. The whole body is swathed. Swathed? 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 With wide vines that are similar to seaweed. Its vine shakes as it walks. Don't want to give a nickname. Goodbye, Tangela. You are poisoned in my little box. Get things out. So yeah, if you make your way up here... There we go, we're in Pallet Town. I forgot, whoa, I forgot how, like, white, like, weirdly white Pallet Town is. I guess that makes sense, because it's where all the color will be, because it's a pallet. Uh, back to my house. I'm gonna go rest. Hello, Mom. So you should take a quick rest. I did. That was my quick rest. She's basically a Poke, uh, a Pokemon Center, so that's pretty cool. Drop by and see Professor Oak if we want to, which is pretty much just, if you talk to him, it's, like, as if he's, um, evaluating your Pokedex on the PC. 92 Pokemon O, 93 O Pokemon O. Impressed, it must have been difficult to do. Yeah, between last episode and this episode, also I can't get the friggin' Squirtle. Give it to me. Um, I, I evolved a bunch of Pokemon through like stones and stuff like that, and I'll be doing a little bit more of that type of stuff later on. Um, but right now, instead of walking to Viridian City, we're gonna fly there. Viridian City is the first real town you go to, and if you remember all the way back in episode, I believe, two, the Viridian City Gym. By the way, just one second, I'm just gonna switch out Bean Bean with Susan. There we go. Uh, the Viridian City Gym was closed because apparently the gym leader was just not around. So now that we've done all other, all seven other gyms, the Viridian City Gym is now finally back up and operational. Which means it's the last gym before we've gotten all of them. Viridian Gym's leader returned, and now we can get in there. Ho! Huh. Yo, champ in making! Even I don't know Viridian Leader's identity. Really? You can't just, like, walk up to the end of the gym and just say, Hi, I'm champ of the making guy. What's your name? This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. Well, that's good. So, this is a fairly weirdly big gym, but if you really just want to uh, get to the end, you only have to fight two trainers. First, we're gonna get this. Woo! Fight this guy. And then we'll fight one other guy, and I'll show you what I mean. The truly talented win with style. Really, because I win with Pokemon. Unless you named your Pokemon style, and that's pretty cool. You got cool trainer. I think they're called ace trainers in the later series. You got a Rhyhorn. I've seen Rhyhorn before, but we haven't seen his evolution right on. Uh, drill pack should be fine. Boink. Level 43, though, for not a gym leader. Holy shit. Oh, it's not... Oh, he's also a ground type. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Yeah, use your fur attack all you want, dude. It's like very little damage. So instead, let's bring out the big guns and bring out Snot Dog. 
So Snot Dog um, has Blizzard, I believe. Or Ice Beam, sorry. And uh, Ice is strong against Ground, I believe. So there we go. So even though... Um, what's his face? Uh, Susan is strong against Ground Pokemon. Rhyhorn's a Ground and Rock Pokemon, so Bird is... Uh, flying type is weak against Rock, so that kind of sucks. Whatever, not a big deal. And then we fight this guy. We need to actually fight this guy because we need him to actually move down. Like that. I'm the Karate Kid. Your fate rests with me. Because that's the only way we can get in there. So, he needs to kind of get out of the way. And, because he's using uh, fighting type, which are also weak against uh, flying type for some reason, having Susan out is not a bad idea. Just in general. Bam. Easy enough. Easy enough. Basically three levels at this point. Nice. So yeah, you start with a Machoke and then you bring him a Chop, like the lower evolution of it. Whatever. And Machoke. Machoke's gonna ma die. I'm surprised we haven't seen Machoke's final evolution, Machamp, yet. I don't know if we do. I think one of the Elite Four, one of the last bosses, have it. Woo, level 30, 43, I almost said 34. Black Belt is dead, you're dead. Aya! So basically what that does, it moves that guy down here. So all you have to do is actually just do this stupid friggin' arrow things. Where have we seen these arrow tiles before? Looks super familiar. Oh, whatever. And that moves him. Because if it wasn't moved, we'd have to go down. So. And there we go. And then we're gonna fight the gym leader. I don't even know how else you'd get there if you don't move him, to be honest. So, like, if I leave the gym and come back, and he's back to his regular spot, can I not beat the gym? Oh, well, I'm gonna actually fight the rest of the trainers in this. There's about, like, four more fights, but I'm gonna do that off-screen. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, we're all healed up, and we took out all the trainers here. Also, yeah, the guy, so if the guy doesn't move, you just kind of go down here. I'm such a moron. Anyways, the leader of the Viridian Gym is none other than <gasps> Giovanni, which is why those tiles look so familiar, I guess. Let's uh, save up first. We don't want to <laughs> do badly here. But here we go. This is the last gym fight in the entire game. <laughs> I don't know why they laugh so, like, evilly. This is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So you're holding back when your giant, like... Monopoly and, and gang was in peril, but now that it's just a gym fight, you're gonna actually fight me for real. Here's Rhyhorn. Crap, I'm sending out friggin' Susan. <laughs> Whoopsie duples. Alright, let's get Snot Dog out here. Do some damage. No, not Tail Whip. Use, um, uh, Ice Beam. Wow. He's got very powerful abilities, but he doesn't, he isn't able to use them very often. It's kind of a shame with the really powerful attacks. Nice. One shot. One down. I think he has five Pokemon, which is pretty, pretty good chunk. Yeah. Doug Trio. Um, it's Earth specifically. Let's bring up Dingus. Dingus will go last here because Doug Trio is going to be so much faster. Surf. Not Slash. That's probably critical, too. Nah, that was a critical, too. Yeah, Dingus is very high in defense, I think, which is great. Nice. Come on. Yeah, that's how it's done. This is what's like having a nice, balanced team. You know, Queen. Let's get Bean Bean out here. Nido Queen is Earth, but also Poison. Let's get that Psychic going. Oh, ho, ho. An and a critical. Nice. Go Bean Bean. This is, this is Harmony in my Pokemon, you see. Fantastic. Nido King. Hmm. Let's keep, keep you out for now. Nido King's powerful, so let's, let's put him to sleep. Nice. Good stuff. Some Dream Eater. Oh. 
Doing good. Only one more, and I think this is right on. Yeah, right on. Let's do this. Alright, Snot Dog. This is right on. This is Rhyhorn's evolution. And weirdly enough, according to the game's code... Wow, level 50. Holy shit. Um, according to the game's code, the first designed Pokemon. Which is kind of a cool idea. Ice Beam. Whew. So if Rhydon's faster than you, he can one-hit KO you with, I think it's Fisher or something like that. Wow. Or Horn Drill. I forget what it is. There we go. Not a single hit against the strongest trainer ever. And we have all eight badges. Oh my god. Ha. <laughs> I don't know why he laughs. That wasn't, that wasn't even a laugh. I was like a weird sigh on my part. That was a truly intense fight. Not really. You sat there and was my bitch. <laughs> you have won. As proof, here's the Earth Badge. Nice. Oh my god, we, get, we did it, guys. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Phil received TM27. Nice. It's Fisher. It will take out Pokemon with just one hit. Yeah, it's a one-hit kill. I made it. Uh, I made it when I ran the gym here. You made the TM? Cool, I guess someone has to. Too long ago. Then you can talk to him again. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And he disappears. I kind of like the idea that he does actually, like, leave. It's kind of a cool little idea, I guess. I don't know. But there we go. We have done it. We have all eight gym badges. When I... When I finished throwing up my guts from this friggin' twirly bob. We're gonna go to the menu. And there we go. All eight badges in 21 hours. Which is good, I guess. I don't know. Let's go heal up. And uh, we can finally make our way to the Elite Four. This is incredible, guys. We're doing so good. So, at this point, like, your levels certainly matter, but I mean, it's typing. It's, it's typing, dude. Like, what was Snot Dog level 44 or something? And I fought a level 50 Pokemon and beat him in one hit. It's all about what powers you have, what your typing is. I mean, levels are obviously important because stats are based on that, but it's not the most important thing. Let's go down and use our our TM there. Oh, whoops. I was like, why can't I use a TM? So, oh, I'm using Secret Key. Um, I think Doug Trio can learn it. Yeah, why can Dingus? I don't think I'll use it very often, but let's um, teach it just in case. We'll get rid of... Um... Shit. Get rid of Body Slam. Slash is probably not as powerful as Body Slam, but man, I get a crazy amount of critical hits with, with Slash, so I'm going to say it's more powerful because of that. Let's save up right quick and make our way westward to the final area of the game. It's hard to believe we're nearly done the game, guys. We've only got three Pokemon left to find, and uh, one of them was a trade at the bottom of Cycling Route, which I needed to trade a Slowbro, and no, I'm not trading Dingus for him, but uh, I do need to get another Slowpoke, evolve into Slowbro, and do that. At least don't get a fight. Good. And on our way... Oh, look. Look who it is. What, Phil? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to Pokemon League? You collected all the badges, too? That's cool. Oh, well, thank you. Then I'll whip you, Phil, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on! Oh, yeah, we didn't do the traditional Mandark! <laughs> Gotta have that lightning in there somehow. There we go, six Pokemon. Woo! Mandark has been training. So, he's, yeah, pretty powerful right now. It's definitely a strong fight. Let's use Tri-Attack. I got Tri-Attack while fighting the, um, the, uh, the trainers in that gym I was just in. Let's see, let's see what Tri-Attack does. Oh, it shoots triangles out of my butt. Okay. Seriously, though, I don't know what that does. That's not not powerful. Cool. I think it also has a chance to do, like, some sort of effect or something. But whatever. Strong normal attack that I learned naturally, so that's always fun. Rhyhorn? I just fought a bunch of Rhyhorns. Do I re oh, wow, Stato was only level 42. I was able to take a level 50 right on in a single hit. Pretty good. So your level 45 version of, a, of an unevolved version of Rhydon is going to have no chance against Mass Shnatdog. Ha-ha! Nice. Good call. Execute! Well, I have Fire Blast. Let's finally use our first and only fire attack we have in this entire game. Five! Wow, I think it's the strongest fire move in the game, but it's very low accuracy. Let's hope this hits. Nice. Ah, oh, I love that, like... 
the Fire Star kind of thing. It's like the signature of Fire Blast in every Pokemon game. It's so powerful. Go Snot Dog. Gyarados! Who's got my Lightning? Who's got Thunder? Actually, it's Snot Dog! <laughs> is it? I think it is. Yeah, Thunder! <laughs> That's why having a Pokemon with a lot of cool different things to do is just great. Oh no, not Dragon Rangers, I'll do 40 exactly. Ah, yeah, Thunder has low accuracy. Ooh, Hydro Pump, which I believe is the strongest water move in the game. Holy shit. And a critical. Damn, Snot Dog, you gone! Well, what can we do? Let's use Slap Chop. The water won't hurt him very much. Let's use some Toxic. Damn. There we go. And I know the grass moves won't do all that much damage to him because he's technically a flying type as well, but better than nothing. Solar Beam! Which we use as one turn to uh, gather power, or take in sunlight, and then we're going to do massive damage here, which won't do all that much damage because it's a he's not going to be weak against it. Still a good chunk, enough to take him out, plus critical, so... Oh, that was a lot of HP, our experience. Alakazam. Damn, I wish Snot Dog was here. A nice big punch to the face would do really good. So let's use my dudes instead. That way I can hopefully be faster and hit him with something really nice and strong. Level 50 Alakazam. Damn. Slash. Nice. Good, good, good. Reflect. Don't give a shit about your reflect, man. Yeah, that's right. Charizard. Get some water out here. Dingus. What you doing, Dingus? Oof. Charizard. I, th I think it's so weird that Charizard is not a friggin' uh, a dragon type. I believe he's actually um, part flying type now. Oof. Slashes are all about the critical hits, dude. You can survive one more of those, though, so it doesn't really matter. Level 53. That's how high the levels are getting, guys. I'm gonna need to do some training, I think, before the end of all this. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we defeated Mandark! What? I was just careless. Probably. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Phil, you need more practice. Except I won, so screw you. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. And he just leaves again. Anyways, that is it for today, guys. Uh, next episode, we're gonna make our way to the Elite Four. Don't get into a battle. Don't get into a battle. Good. And uh, up here is Victory Road, which we tried to do in like the third episode, but we didn't have the Boulder Badge at that point. But now that we do, we'll be able to continue next time. I'm Phil the Blanks. Take care, guys.